Possessing a pleasantly cool climate, Baguio City is one of the most popular travel destinations in the Philippines, especially during the summer months of April and June. It is located 251 kilometers north of Manila by road and 41.8 kilometers by air and is surrounded by land within the province of Benguet. We ask the students of St. Louis University's Department of Architecture about the present problems in Baguio City. Traffic. Kulang yung parking sa Baguio. Urban decay. Sanitation. Traffic. Overpopulated. Traffic. Population. Trash. Parking. Traffic. Tao. Kadami-dami na tao. Na Baguio, basura. Traffic. Tao. Politician. Population. Overpopulated. Yung super population, overpopulation, pollution, basura, basura, traffic, parking, pollution, road construction, drainage, overpopulated. So what is the government doing about the problems in population? The city government is looking into the development of the BLIST concept. The Baguio, La Trinidad, Itogon, Sablan, Dublay, and Tuba. Para yung influx ng hindi lang mga migrants, pati mga visitors, mga local and foreign tourists, hindi lang sila nakakonsentrate sa Baguio. Ito matagal ng plano ito, pero hanggang ngayon it has not gained solid grounds yung bliss area, the development of the bliss area. Uh, yung kasing boundary ng Baguio is permanent na yan. Uh, defined na yung territories natin, hindi naman lumalaki as the population grows. So, ang mangyayari niyan, I think we, we are one of the densest, uh, we have the densest uh, population all over the country. We have, uh, I think, 4,800 for every square kilometer. We only have 57 square kilometers of the city. So, hopefully, kung mag-gain mag ground yung bliss, then we can expand. Siguro, kakaroon ng mga supermarkets sa Trinidad, housing areas sa Itogo, Tuba. Uh, but these are more ideas. Kasi, for as long as there is no continuity of interest in exploring this possibility. Anyway, uh, Blist or the Baguio Latinidad Itogon Sablan Tuba Tublay is actually a concept. A concept of metropolitanization actually. And it is a strategical uh, bipolar and multipolar growth uh, in the concept of uh, dispersed development. The bliss as a concept is not uh, yet accepted uh, as a uh, total strategy uh, for the simple reason that the bliss as a concept must be uh, uh, institutionalized by uh, the, the concerned uh, municipalities. One of the evidence of this is the garbage disposal. As you can see, if the BLIST is really institutionalized and accepted by the different municipalities, then we should not be having problems when it comes to where to dump this garbage. It is still a principle of uh, not in my backyard prin uh, principle. Kaya yung BLIST is a good uh, framework as well as a concept in terms of equitable development. Meaning to say that it is only Baguio City and La Trinidad that uh, is uh, concentrated in the actual scenario. But nevertheless, Itogon, Sablan, Tuba, Tublay are still what we may call a uh, component of rural resource uh, supply for the two, Baguio La and La Trinidad. So if metropolitanization as bliss is to work out, then there must be an equitable uh, urban development on all the regions concerned. Unfort unfortunately, it is still a uh, what we may call unfair gamble for Itogon Sablan to Batublay in terms of socio-economic as well as uh, environment 
development. So as of now, I believe, and you can check your uh, regional development plan of 2011 and 2016, the uh, Cordillera uh, as in whole is still in a problematic situation, okay? especially in, in the aspect of water. Uh, you know that uh, Cordillera is the water cradle of northern Luzon. Yet, because of deforestation and uh, you know, resource exploitation to the benefit of other urban area like Baguio City, uh, yun na ang problema natin. Yung uh, uh, water permeability and transmissibility is so much affected that uh, we really have a problem in water supply, especially in the urban area. So I repeat, list has to be uh, restudied and uh, it must be on the equitable grounds of development between urban and rurality. That's the place. But it's a good framework to start with. Okay? But politically, it may not be, <laughs> it may not yet be a, uh, a an effective concept for the Cordillera Administrative Region on the grounds of uh, political uh, relationship and uh, political will as well as yun nga, sabi ko kanina, inequitable uh, level of development within the concerned uh, bliss area. What is the government doing about the problems in pollution? Uh, one is mass transport. Uh, we are now in the process of crafting a PPP ordinance, in public private uh, partnership which we hope to invite prospective investors who will be interested in mass transport. Uh, we can lessen the vehicles, the volume of vehicles inside the Central Business District by having a mass transport that will cover single by a circumferential route. Para yung mga public utility vehicles, taxis, jeepneys, hindi na makapasok. I mean, makakapasok, pero people will be encouraged to take the mass transport. Uh, well, the, the ultimate purpose of this ordinance is to have a carless ordinance in Session Road. It's actually the pedestrianization sana of Session Road. Kasi, if you remember once, we were in highlighted in the newspapers, di ba? As one of the dirtiest or most polluted cities in the country and it's a very unfortunate uh, news to hear kasi Session Road uh, siyempre that's considered the very heart of the city and it's polluted so with the news of, it was already corrected actually by the World Health, World Health Organization na hindi na hindi tama yung report niya na gano'n so, para naman ma-addressan yan at para matigil yung mga ganong issues, nag-propose si Councilor ng uh, carless ordinance and session. So, initially, it was, there was a, uh, there was an experimental implementation. On Sundays, I don't, I don't know if it was done in two Sundays na walang sasakyan and uh, may mga negative reactions coming from the riding public from the business sector within session road din meron silang mga reklamo kaya pinag-aaral pa yung feasibility ng carless, uh, carless na day sa session road In terms of pedestrianization of session road uh, pedestrianization is not a new concept this is actually uh, way back 1960s. Uh, Washington D.C. as well as uh, the Green, uh, I'm sorry, the Garden concept of Ebenezer Howard was actually uh, a, 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 an idea that espoused uh, pedestrianization within the urban and uh, in terms of regional development uh, to the rural. So I repeat, the pedestrianization is not a new concept. It has been there way back 1960. Now, in the case of Session Road, in my own opinion, 
pedestrian station is not a logical uh, move. It may be an ideological uh, uh, concept to Session Road or CBT, but you have to consider uh, one primary concern here or two. One is Session Road is a, uh, one, of, one of the unique uh, uh, street. It is sloping. By that alone, uh, the, the pedestrianization in terms of social acceptability and market uh, uh, you know, uh, flexibility, it may not work. Second, uh, it is a major thoroughfare. Check the history of Session Road. Session Road has been a major thoroughfare for both pedestrian and vehicular, which is the uh, horse. Uh, uh, at saka yung ang tawag dito, kalesa. Okay? It has been like that before. Uh, what is supposed to be done, in my own opinion, is to make Session Road walkable in terms of its pedest uh, sidewalk development. Protection of the pedestrian uh, within the uh, shops or uh, front of the shops. But not necessarily to pedestrianize it uh, all. I repeat, it is highly an economic issue. And besides, our social uh, concern here is this. Uh, you have SM. If you pedestrianize Session Road, what do you think will happen to sa mga buildings and shops na nandun? They will be at the sacrificial lamp over an ideological pedestrian uh, uh, concept. So I repeat, it's not pedestrianizing Session Road, but making uh, the sidewalk and other walkway of Session Road be pedestrian friendly in terms of climatological protection of sun and rain security and the rest uh, has to be a vehicular, uh, vehicular circulation classified classified when i say classified how can the local government and the uh, economic sector and business sector agree on which and uh, on which uh, type of uh, vehicles should pass session road and how to uh, control the uh, the overuse of that road because it's true, it's highly populated, uh, populated. Uh, you know, it's beyond the pH value uh, in terms of air pollution so these are the things that has to be considered but not totally <laughs> pedestrianizing otherwise you may pedestrianize that pero kung inilipat mo yan dun sa isa hindi polluted din yung isa we're not solving a problem in a, in a simple uh, the theory it must be the unique characteristic of both socio-economic physical consideration as well as session road is concerned. That's about pedestrianization. Sa CBD ng Baguio, so basically, ang environment, uh, man-made na kasi siya. Okay, man, it's already a man-made environment. Although there are still that, uh, that Baguio topography. Diba? Actually, um, we will have to focus on the Burnham Park because that basically that is now considered the only open space in uh, the central business district of Baguio. So I'd like to focus also on the project of um, the parking, the proposed parking. I somehow I'm also um, against it but what we can probably do is uh, one also of the proposals to make it walkable okay, walkable but of course it can only be walkable if um, the transportation system is the public transportation system is also efficient so we need to strengthen the transportation planning of the CBD before we can really apply uh, walkability here in Baguio. It is, uh, walkability I think is very applicable because um, you know, the the climate is um, conducive for that. It allows that. And aside from that, Baguio is considered a tourist area, tourism area. So to make it more walkable, it will benefit not only um, even those who are called commercial um, on the walls, mga um, hole in the wall commercial uh, establishment. What are hole in the walls? Hole in the walls are small uh, commercial establishment, probably a restaurant or even um, 
a sari-sari store that can cater to the tourists, not only um, the malls. We need to expand uh, people in Baguio need to consider an open mall or a strip mall okay? because the weather is conducive for that. So here are some suggestions and opinions that might be applicable in solving the problems. Actually, as far as the planning is concerned, wala naman kulang doon. I think um, the bottom line is always it's the political will to implement it. Lahat na yata ng plans nagawa na, but they become prevalent as problems kasi nga, there's no proper implementation. We, we already have the laws, the rules, and the plans. Uh, what our problems right now is, um, for example, uh, infrastructure. The roads were not designed for such density. We are at 5,000 people per square kilometers here in Barger. That is a lot. Hindi siya, hindi, hindi siya ideal okay, for the city. Although there are solutions, for the housing, which is uh, prevalent, as you can see, maybe if we can change the culture into going for vertical development already and providing more open spaces or reducing the ratio of buildable areas versus the flat areas. That's one. And then, of course, the reforestation. Out of the 14 watersheds we have, there's only one already na functional. So we need to either revive them if if still possible, but with the development closing in. So no awala na talaga sila. Regarding regarding pollution, of course when you have traffic congestion, obviously there is pollution also. So unfortunately the city has been uh, branded as one of the most polluted cities already and uh, probably there is some truth to that uh, accusation because uh, for one thing if you will observe uh, even in central or the central business district you can already Observe position. Eco park in SM. Uh, just like any anything that is new, there will always be opposition. Like uh, I know of many people who, uh, uh, when they first um, heard of uh, SM uh, planning to cut trees. Uh, because of a uh, new proposal, uh, these people said, I'm going to boycott SM. I will uh, make a campaign that uh, we will not, uh, we will not uh, uh, so go to any SM uh, pr uh, facility, etc. And then uh, a week later, they're, they're in SM during the sale. So it's, uh, it's all hypocrisy. For, for me, um, I am actually in favor of what SM is proposing because uh, talaga namang in everything in life for every action there's a reaction so uh, tatalagang you cannot uh, you cannot avoid sacrificing a little ang nag ang nag-hold lang kasi kung bakit hindi mapedestra na uh, hindi mga pedestrianized yung session road kasi uh, isa siya sa pinaka-sentro. Kung halimbang kukunin yung trace ng lahat ng roads, yung road map ng Baguio, once na tinanggalan mo siya ng access, magkakaroon na ng problema sa traffic. Online. For example, uh, there should be no vehicles allowed within CBD. Sana, no? Because uh, tourist, tourist uh, city nga. So in order to be able to uh, come up with the, the, the plan of Burnham, then uh, less vehicles should be allowed to, to enter. So probably a uh, mode of transportation will just be uh, walking and probably some horses.
Yan kasi mali no. Uh, leave your cars uh, somewhere else. If possible nga eh, leave it uh, outside of the city. The only problem is that uh, syempre this is the central business district. Hindi mo basta-basta matawag doon ma ko convince yung mga businessmen diyan because it will actually affect the flow of logistics. Logistics is very important especially if you're trying to deliver service to the people. Paano papasok ang delivery nila? Pa pa paano papasok yung mga items sa kada different uh, supporting tawag uh, supporting uh, uh, what do you call it? ng supplies for the people or the consumers uh, who are usually uh, converging at the central business. Kasi nga, that is the center of commerce. Lahat ng services, basic services, until the services beyond the basic services, it, dito mo makikita. The congest, uh, session of this, the BLIST project is uh, good for that. The problem now, now although they are already, already working about it, the original problem of that is about politics. Okay? Ang mangyayari kasi, saan ang center? Once na i-decongest ang Baguio, I apply BLIST, Saan bang sentro? Where will be the main trunk? Where will be the main cities? And aside from that, mahahati yung earnings ng bago. Diba? So, it, that's, it's not just about uh, physical planning. In terms of urban uh, problems, uh, we architects cannot actually uh, give concrete solution to that. We have to collaborate with other people, other uh, professionals or actors who are much more uh, knowledgeable in these particular aspects.